I have gathered you all today because yesterday we played a game called Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. We started talking a little bit about the vampire survivors genre. And to define that gameplay style, I would say loosely that we're talking about uh, joystick controls, right? So it's mainly just directional, but not all of them abide by that, right? That rule is still kind of like flexible right now. 10 minutes, 20 minutes till dawn also has uh, aiming for firing and everything, but, it's, but it still has all the other elements that uh, Vampire Survivors has, such as the ever-growing horde and a time limit before, you know, the game ends. As some kind of progression elements within the actual run itself where you could continue to, to grab these like randomized like updates and, pro and progress that way. There's a game that came out um, called Magical Survival. This game came out in 2019. And if you look at it, you look at this and said that's vampire survivors 2019 is this title here uh this is the first the oldest one that i could find this was recommended by brotato uh well it's brotaco sorry brotato is actually one of the other games uh that i came across that is similar i was reading through reviews and i found uh and somebody was like yeah if you're into brotato and, and all this other stuff and i was i went and looked them up and i was like i'll be damned it is it really is. So it's like, okay, and this came out recently too. Nomad Survival, also I have that open. Somebody already mentioned it. Uh, this is another title that is, this came out April 28, 2022. Like this is you know, fairly Boom, recent, baby. fairly new. So yeah, here you go. This is again, this is right in line with the, oh, well, I guess we should say the magical survival inspired games. Yesterday, uh, it was mentioned that uh, Bullet Heaven was something that they were throwing around. And what I found was there's actually, I mean, I didn't really have to dig too deep. There's already a, uh, a series of games called Bullet Heaven. So Bullet Heaven 2 is a bullet hell. It even says right here, Bullet Heaven 2 is a bullet hell shoot 'em up And if you look at the gameplay, it does, it, it is, it's a bullet, it's a bullet hell. It's a traditional bullet hell. It's not anything like the games we're talking about, the horde mode style games that we're talking about. You need progression and world movement. Yeah, I think I think that those are two defining elements of this genre. There should be movement. There should be progression in the game, weapons you could pick up, stuff like that. And I th that's a staple that we've seen in in Brotato, in Nomad Survival, Magical Survival, 10 Minutes Till Dawn, Vampire Survivors. Um, oh, fuck me. The Spirit Hunters if in a horde, sorry. <laughs> so it's just increasing hordes type gameplay also on top of the moving and the progression and everything. Yeah, some kind of out, out of game, like account wide progression also I feel like is kind of a staple for this too. Limited runtime, yeah, limited runtime. Uh, we should write this down. This, this, is, this is how all game genres are, are decided. Looking at all how these guys all describe their game, it's always the same. Roguelite bullet hell, action roguelite. Everybody's trying to attach all of these different genres to it because it doesn't have its own genre. The core concepts seem pretty simple. A moving screen, time limit, joystick input, I guess in and out match progression, which is a staple of like a roguelite, basically. That's like the roguelite elements, but there's no name for it. Magical survival is the oldest one I could find that that is very clearly part of this lineage of games, of, of this genre. Let's play it for a second. Ooh, choose your class. I'm gonna go for the tree. Oh, it's a wizard. <laughs> There's those markers, 10 to 30 minutes. So yeah, that's that exists even here. Oh, auto fires. All I do is move. So let's see if there's in-game progression, which I'm sure there is, because I'm collecting experience right now. Yeah. So as far as we can tell, this is the rogue of roguelikes, but for this genre. Traits can be learned, meteor traits can be learned. Oh, traits? Ooh, evolutions. I'd imagine that it's time gated too, right? So let's watch what happens at the nine minute mark to see if we see a new kind of mob show up. Uh, nine minutes, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that, right on the dot. I wonder if that's, if that's something that should be included at certain times, this and this shows up versus like how many things you kill, right? Look at my pro gaming strats. Don't only got to play. Uh, Crimson Land. Ooh, what do we have here? This feels more twin stick. I mean, we've already kind of created some guidelines here, right? Time limit, joystick, in and out of match progression. Pretty sure it's one movement option that shoots the direction you're walking. But 10 minutes till dawn doesn't do that, though. Like, that's an important distinction. And that game is so similar to Vampire Survivors. This one does function a lot like a twin stick it does have in match and out of match yeah evolutions by the way unholy just so you know i put out a a, a for breakfast on infinite uh, spirit hunters infinite horde but hey but you know what though you came in you were like i recognize this genre you see 
You see? It knew exactly what to recommend. So it is, it is a defined something that we're all recognizing. We just don't have a way to classify them other than, I mean, shoot them up, action roguelike, top down, twin stick. There's a million different things, but it's not a twin stick, but it's not just, just a plain shooter. So a serious Sam bogus detour, 2017. Okay. So in, in this game, it's the, in this game, it's defining the time gated mobs that we have on our list um as waves oh my god yeah this is serious sam all right okay i have a question do we disqualify a game if it's wave based because you get a break when all of these other games are all like non-stop and then and yeah and then the aim like we kind of have to figure out like there's a lot of control inputs here. Yeah, you have a dash, you have, uh, you obviously have a firing, uh, an aiming mechanism. Is there, oh, perfect. Yeah, that's what I wanted to, I wanted to see. Is there in-out progression? There is. Asteroids doesn't have a moving screen or in-game progression and out-of-game out, of, out of game progression. See, this is what happens when you, when you, when you write a list. Like, I'm not trying to actively, like, deny any game for being part of this club. I want to use these other games to further solidify what should qualify as a magical survival like or whatever you want to call it brotato and this is another one that's again like it looks like it's 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 falling the same line <laughs> actually it looks kind of fun now is he aiming or is it automatically aiming for him let me install this it's only 105 megabytes we'll hop in real quick and see automatic it's automatic firing just like just like you said and then we'll buy this knife now we have a knife and we have okay there's no mouse movement which is fine i guess but yeah it aims the closest one yeah the art style works so well for this. We, we lost. It's fine. Quit. Back to our list. This say it's a three dollar game. Uh, should we add the price point? <laughs> should we add it has to have a price point of less than five dollars or something just to really, really shake things up? No, we didn't say survival like. And again, I don't know if we're gonna be here, if us here today are gonna be the ones to develop like the name for it. But I feel like we should at least come up with some kind of like guidelines because we're seeing this genre happen. The line has to be drawn somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think it's just a goddamn bullet hell. It's not a bullet hell. You know better than that, Top. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is an action platformer. And the pl I think the, the right away, the platformer, I feel like the platformer, uh, platforming element removes it from this category entirely. So the way I look at it is like this. If you can't check enough of these, then I wouldn't necessarily say that it qualifies, right? So like, let's take Auto Hero, Hero, for example. First off, it requires more than just one input. So that's one against it. Then it's, you know, it's a side scroller, right? So I would say it's probably two against it. Uh, if it has dodge or all that stuff, you're adding more inputs. I like that you guys are into this too. This was me last night. Me, I was last night I was going through, I was just like, whoa, is this like a, hold on a second. Like everything was starting to like align. And I was like, wait a minute, this is like a new thing that's emerging. This is good. The more games that we, we throw in that are close, and if we're able to like include them or exclude them, just further like I feel like the further like strengthens the uh, the guidelines for the genre. And again, yeah, survive time survival game with roguelite elements. See, <laughs> but what's funny is it's it's listing out what we have on our fucking list. Ten minutes till dawn. Again, this is a great example of not abiding by all the rules, but still checking off enough boxes that it has to be included so this game has dash it has dash roll whatever but it has the evolutions uh it has yeah the chest the roguelite elements the progression the character unlocks it has all the other things but it doesn't not check off enough boxes where i would say let's exclude it we still haven't found anything older the magic survival in terms of like a game that accurately represents the current brand of this style of gameplay this checks, this probably checks all the boxes, right? So joystick, time limit, uh, time gated mobs. We saw that top down, ISO, moving screen, joystick, uh, in out progression, deck builder. So this checks all the boxes. This game is like definitive, I feel like for the current state. Again, I don't know what we're going to call it, right? I'm not, I don't have the authority to do this. All I'm saying is that we have a set of rules here that we are seeing a trend of that we didn't make it up. We're just pointing it out that all these games pretty much follow the same. Okay, not that one. Why couldn't this guy like name his game something catchy that we could name other genres, like name a genre out of? Like no one's gonna call it magic survival like, like. <laughs> auto, auto something, auto shooter, 
Survival seems super core to it. I, I believe that too, yeah. Because these seem to include bullet hell, a survival hell, auto survival, survival hell. God, survival hell sounds really good. Because again, we're we're reaching back and we're saying we recognize that this is potentially the one of the earliest definitive examples of this genre, but also acknowledging the bullet hell aspect. Because I really feel like that, like it, it, it encapsulates how we name games. Souls like, rogue like, right? It's it's like we're using the game name inspiration as well as a, a fairly known definitive defining aspect it happens to be that the game's name also is a defining element of the gameplay itself survival auto battler i like the auto something if we could incorporate that but we don't have to like co combine everything in one auto shooter survival aka ass damn roaming defense hell <laughs> don't just mix and match the words genres that are named after games souls like we'll put rogue like we'll put rogue light uh oh sus like Auto chess. Oh, auto ch <laughs> All right, so vampire survivors, I think that goes without saying that qualifies. We already know this one checks all the boxes. Infinite Horde absolutely belongs. Moving screen or infinite play fields. Not all of them have an infinite play field. Like that's like a bonus. Most of the core ones do have that. Let's say for example, it doesn't check a couple of these boxes, but it has infinite play field. And it's like, yeah, it's still gonna have the same feel. Spell cast, we looked at this, this definitely checks all the boxes. It also came uh, after the fact, so we know it's probably a clone. Uh, 10 minutes till dawn. So this is a great, this is a great example to use this as like a, like see it has, it has borders. So it doesn't have, it has a moving screen, but not infinite play field, which is fine. It does have a uh, time limit. Um, it's not single stick input. It does have in and out progression slash deck builder style. Uh, it does have time gated slash continuous play. Uh, and it does have top down ISO camera. So like, yeah, 10 minutes till dawn belongs. So this is where we're at right here. Uh, we have a lot of examples of what other games that are other genres that are based off of the original games. Uh, we have a number of like ideas here and we have a, a fairly definitive list here. It doesn't have to check everything. So I think it's safe to say that Magic Survival and Vampire Survival, until somebody comes up with something else, these two games are like the core games to this genre. Magic Survival being the original and Vampire Survivors being the one that popularized this style of gameplay. So if I put all these in here and then we have and then we have a a vote and the winner is Auto Slaughter. So next we'll put in the the other 3, the remaining 3. New vote and done. Not a lot of none of the above. So there's some good options in here. Slaughter survival. And then so these three auto slaughter, slaughter survival, survival hell. Little, 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 my tongue. All right, this is it. This is the one. Auto slaughter is still. I'm going to leave auto slaughter in there, but I think slaughter survival could go. It's also very hard to, to say. Word. Oh, man, we did it. This is excellent. I, man, I'm so. I'm telling you, last night, last night, I was seriously. I even recorded a little bit. I was trying to like put it down in a video, like just a free form, like talking so I could have like notes for myself. And I was like, nah, I just gotta do this on stream. Like, this is definitely a stream thing. Like, got we gotta sit down. We gotta we gotta talk about it. We gotta figure this out because this is, I know that we get enough people in here to work this out, and we did. Yeah, I love when a plan comes together. <laughs>